Hi, I'm Nikon Ambassador Andrew Hancock. Today we're at an aquatic center in Indianapolis and we're going to show you how to photograph swimming and take you from the expected to the unexpected. We're going to start off with our model, former collegiate swimmer Luke Trimmer. We're going to have him going up and down the pool in a variety of strokes. I'm going to document him the same way I would as if I were going and covering an event. In this situation, my safe shot is going to be using the Nikon D4S with the Nikkor 300mm f2.8 VR lens. For this, it's going to give me a nice, clean, compressed shot, which is really going to isolate the action in my image. My strategy whenever I'm covering an event like swimming is I'm going to photograph the competition from a variety of angles. And once I've got my safe shot, then I always try to look and push myself to be creative and come up with something unexpected. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that by going underwater. Working underwater can be intimidating. For me, I'm going with a simple underwater enclosure bag. It's kind of like a glorified Ziploc, but it's very secure and allows me tactile feel of the camera controls so I can adjust them while I'm in the water. For me, I prefer a wide angle lens, which is why I selected the 1635. I want to be able to show a little bit of the environment underwater, the lane markers, the bubbles, but I also want to allow the action really to stand out, and that's why I have the speed light in there. By adding a Nikon SB910 speed light into the underwater enclosure, I'm going to be able to illuminate the swimmer from underwater, and it's really going to make him stand out against the background. If I was shooting without the speed light, everything underwater is going to be very low contrast, so everything's going to kind of blend together. By adding a little bit of speed light, you're going to really allow your subject to stand out and pop out from the frame. I'm going to start off really simply with the underwater enclosure. I'm simply going to kneel on the edge of the deck, and I'm going to hold the camera underwater. I'm going to photograph him as he approaches the wall if he's reaching for the finish line. All right, Luke, I think this looks really good. I think we have something different than what we normally get. There's definitely a picture in here, too, that I like, but I think we can do a lot better. But to do that, I'm going to get in the pool, all right? All right, sounds, all right, good. sounds good. Two, three. Just because it's not something you do every day, doesn't mean you can't go out and make a really nice picture doing something entirely different. Me, I really have the opportunity to do this, but I wanted to create something special and something beyond the norm of what I normally do. 